Mezco 112 Collective, Dark Side is in the Dork Lair. Welcome to another Dork Lair action figure review. Today we're taking a look at Dark Side. I just got this guy in the mail today. Also, today is January 12th, which means it is 112 day. I hope I'm not missing any crazy drops while I'm recording this video, but I wanted to get this out there because a lot of people are asking, how good is this figure? This is a pretty big release from Mezco. This one was $180. And so expectations are going to be pretty high on this guy to really fulfill that, um, you know, that value to feel like people are getting their money's worth on it. So let's take a look at this figure. And because of the uniqueness of this particular release, I'm actually going to do a little bit of an unboxing here to just show you what the packaging is like. First off, I'm going to put it next to a regular release tin to see how it compares. Uh, and I apologize, I don't have a ton of space here, but the... Um, 10 is from the front, it's the same dimensions, same size 10 pretty much from the front. But when you stack them together, you'll see that the dark side 10 is actually uh, thicker. Okay, so it's, it's a uh, taller box actually than the regular release tins. But otherwise the tin itself is exactly the same. It feels like the same materials and all that. Those are really nice. I like that packaging. It just gives it a premium feel. And then the big difference though, is once you open this thing up inside first of all you have some paperwork some instructions and then inside rather than the usual plastic trays you have styrofoam not styrofoam but like regular foam almost like upholstering foam or whatever packing foam and um, you know you have this piece holding them in so this guy is packed very securely I have no doubt that, um, you know, it'll ship well and it'll stay intact. And then packed into the foam, you have the three head sculpts or the three um, face plates, the separate face plates. You have the figure itself, three hands, and then you have the mother box over there. And then underneath, there's another layer of foam and you have like kind of the normal stuff. And then his cape is packed in there as well. And finally, on the back of the box, you just got the usual details of the figure promo picks, accessories, and so forth. And right out of the gates, let's just get into some size comparisons, see how he looks next to some other Mezco figures. And obviously the first one is gonna be Superman. Um, I don't have the regular one right now, but uh, there's his size right next to a uh, Red Sun Superman. And then here he is next to Batman. And here he is next to Aquaman from the movies and Batman also from the movies as well. There's a little bit of size comparison. I think he's properly massive. Um, this is a chunk of a figure. And uh, you know, if you want a big guy, you're getting one right here. Okay, we're gonna take a look at the details, but first, out of curiosity, I did take out my baking scale and I'm going to weigh him. So all right, I'm gonna put the camera down here. I haven't actually done this yet, so here we go. So let me zero it out. And he weighs one pound, uh, almost two ounces, basically just over a pound uh, of a figure. So he's a pretty massive guy. If you want to compare that to another figure, so Superman weighs three ounces. All right, so <laughs> he's pretty heavy. All right, so continuing on, man, this figure looks really good. The combination of um, the light up features with the fabric, pleather, outfit there's some metal components um the polystone arms just look really good everything is just beautiful on this guy the finish um he just looks fantastic i i can't really say enough about how awesome he looks i think it's just a really good uh version of this character you can see his head here you can see some metallic paint details on his armor piece there, the dyed pleather or painted pleather, and then more details in his belt, which I think is metal. I'm not sure. It's, it does have a magnetic uh, feature that goes with the mother box. I'm not sure which one is which, like which one's the magnet and which one's metal, but coming down to his boots, lots of really nice paint and detail. I, I think the boots, I think the feet at least are metal. Those feel cool to me. 
Um, and then I think the, the legs are polystone and the arms, probably the torso as well. I mean, the whole guy is just super dense and heavy. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it just feels like an awesome collector's piece. And, uh, yeah, you can take a look more at the details here around the back. This piece can shift around a little bit. The belt can, can move a bit. And yeah, really, really nice looking figure. So he comes with a bunch of accessories. Of particular interest is the fact that he comes with four actual different faces. And uh, the first one that's already on him is this kind of stern straight face. And then the next one, uh, and when you pull his face off, you want to lift forward and up because the chin tucks in and then you stick it back. So let me put the next one on. So he's got a smiling face, grinning really. It's not smiling, but uh, he's got a grinning face. He's got a damaged face. This one is my favorite. And finally, he's got the face with the omega beams coming out of his eyes, <clears throat> which is pretty cool. And so if you pop his head off, I actually want to remove that first, but if you pop his head off, um, you'll see there's a switch underneath and you switch that on. Get the faceplate back on, back on there, you pop it on and you can see the beams there. And let me just switch a light off here. You can see how it is. Um, I do like the light up feature. No pictures are going to be able to pick up how red it is with, through those eyes. Let me put another faceplate on there so you can see, put the regular one back on. So you can see the eyes there. They just don't come out in pictures how red it is. It's incredibly red. Um, again, let me try. Yep. Still, still doesn't really show how, <clears throat> how red it is. Even when I shade it or try to shadow it, let me go fully dark and see. Kinda, I guess, um, but yeah, you can't really tell. Pictures don't do it justice for how red those eyes really are. You'll see, if you get one in hand, you'll see what I'm talking about. And for the batteries, there's just a screw and a little place there for it. You need a tiny screwdriver, but the batteries go right in there. For hands, he comes with these fists already on there. And then he comes with two open hands. And finally, one hand to grasp the mother box, which is right here and that will fit right into this hand as such or if you want to store it on his body you can magnetically attach it to his belt right there so i think that i think this is made out of metal and then there might be a magnet in the belt or vice versa but pretty cool <clears throat> actually looks really good <laughs> it's on there almost like part of the belt that's where you store the mother box. Really cool. One problem I do have with that grasping hand is that mine doesn't really want to go on all the way. I don't know if the peg's not just, just not fitting in the hole right, but, or if it's, maybe it's just loose, but it just pops off super easy. I don't know why. I just, I can't seem to get it to like kind of be super securely on there. It just sort of comes off easily. But the other hands seem to fit on there well and work fine. Like they go kind of all the way in, whereas the other one doesn't seem to want to do that. Maybe the peg hole is a little short. I also feel like maybe I'm, there's like a little bit of gap there. Uh, obviously, you kind of need that for the articulation, for the arm to spin around and stuff. But I don't know if that gap is supposed to be there because this one doesn't feel quite as gappy. Um, if maybe I'm, I've started pulling it out, I'm not sure. But there's a little bit of gap there. Um, otherwise, pretty good. And then you have this cape that uh, is nice, thick fabric. You can go all the way around and look at this thing. And the top is made out of metal. And that just drops right down onto his shoulders. And you can get a sense of how powerful he looks with his cape on. I think it looks pretty good. Really nice cape. And as usual, he comes with the five inch Mezco stand with the Omega symbol on there. Articulation. His head can move up this far and down this far, and it can move side to side pretty well. My only problem is that my head is kind of loose. So 
I'm a little bummed out. Like that's something that annoys me is that his head is, his neck just is loose. That's kind of bothering me because again, this is an expensive figure and I don't really, <laughs> I don't want a wobbly head like that. It's kind of annoying. If you got this figure, let me know if your head's wobbly. The shoulder joint is very smooth right out of the box. I had no problems with it and his arm can come up this far. I'm very gentle with this polystone. I don't want to like catch an edge and chip it or anything like that. Um, and then his arm can rotate. You know, if you get it in the right angle, it will go all the way around. There is no, um, there's no bicep swivel. So that's like one piece point of articulation that's just not there. And the elbow has a single joint. So it's pegged in up here and then it has a pin down here. Um, and the elbow can, can bend this far. So that's, that's fairly limited in the elbow articulation for him. But one nice thing is that the elbow does rotate like this. So if you want to do that kind of behind, even though he doesn't have the shoulder, he's got it at the wrist, I mean at the elbow. So you can, um, you know, you can get his arm, you can get him into that arms behind the back kind of look. Continuing down the arm, there's no forearm swivel here, but there is wrist swivel and there's a hinge at the wrist as well. So pretty nice range of motion at the wrist. There's no upper torso joint, at least not that I can detect or that I can make move, but he does move at the waist. He comes over side to side this far and forward and back this far. Actually goes back pretty far. I mean, his legs are, are pretty much straight and he crunches forward that far. So you can kind of like rotate him and move his waist around and get him into some action poses. More so than I think I would expect from a figure this chunky and big. Um, as far as a big figure goes, I feel like this guy's got a pretty good amount of articulation. Okay, so the belt is free stand, free floating. So if you need to kind of move it around to get that crunch right or get the legs kicked right, you can do so. The legs can kick forward quite a bit. And they can kick backward this much. He can get a wide stance but the ankles just don't rotate enough for that to make any sense. Uh, there's just not enough pivot at the ankles. There's not enough action at the ankles to do a wide stance. And then finally, um, the knees can bend up this far. And there is a little bit of rotation at the boot, but it doesn't go all the way around or anything. It just moves this far. At the top, you can see there's a ball joint up there. So articulation wise, I think it's pretty good you know, it, there could be some points where they ha may have been able to improve it a little bit, but um, overall for what statues are usually made out of, this is a pretty well articulated figure. I'm gonna go through and just count the points real quick. So I think there's two points in the neck. So you have a ball at the top and a ball at the bottom. And then at the shoulders, you have a hinge and swivel. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. At the elbow, you've got seven, eight, nine, ten, because you have the turn and the hinge. That's 10. You have 11, 12, hinge and rotate there. Hinge and rotate at the wrist. 15 would be at the waist. 16 would be the ball at the um, hips. So 16, 17, then 18 and 19 at the knees. 20 at the boot, 21 and 22. So I count 22 points of articulation on this guy. Others may count things a little bit differently, but 22 is not bad for a big chunky dude like this. I think he's, he doesn't have crazy ranges. Um, he might have shoulder, he might have a little bit of butterfly, but I'm not gonna really, I don't really count that because it's just not enough for it to matter. His range isn't crazy, but the subtleties are there. You can get a lot of subtle different poses with him. You're just not gonna get him into like some crazy wide action stance, but um, overall, pretty good articulation. So a couple gripes. I wish the head wasn't so wobbly. Um, I wish that one wrist peg was a little better. It just doesn't fit right. And I mean, other than that, I, I'm pretty happy with this figure. I think, you know, it's an expensive figure. I think anytime anybody spends 180 bucks, it's going to be tough to, to really like make it feel like it's worth it when you have a line of figures that's 80. 
um, people are going to complain and they're going to say, well, they could have just gotten rid of the polystone and they, for no reason, they made the polystone and just jacked up the price for no reason, or they did this or they did that. There's no reason for light up effects or why did they make it metal or I don't know, all these different reasons that people are going to say like, well, they could have cut down on costs and I could have got my figure for cheaper. But quite frankly, I think this is really cool. And if, you know, you have the income, which if you're an action figure collector, oftentimes, um, you know, it's tough to budget in a $180 figure in this scale, but I think it definitely hits all of the, um, you know, satisfactory points for something that's really high-end premium. It's an awesome presence. It's a really cool figure. I do recommend it. Don't go broke trying to buy one. Um, maybe even find a deal on one because this is a regular release. This thing is not an exclusive. It's not really sold out anywhere, I don't think. Um, so you might be able to find a deal, use an eBay coupon, what have you. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to check out our other videos like the Homemade Suit Spider-Man review from Mezco um, and check out the links in the description below for our social media and all that stuff. Until next time, may the force be with you. Dorklair!